And we are following a story that we first broke on sunrise this morning. Tallahassee police shut down several roads for hours looking for suspects who stole a car. ABC 27's Angela Green explains how the car owner and her friends took matters into their own hands. A high speed chase ended here on Tharp Street with Tallahassee police searching high and low for a stolen vehicle. It's not the way she saw her Thursday night ending LaQuasia Ward's car stolen and crashed. I was having a good time at my friend's house uh, around 1230. It's time to go. Came outside and my car was gone. Her first thought the car got towed, but she quickly found out that was not the case. As soon as my friend let me know that they don't tow at that location, they let me know that I needed to check on my car and see where it was and who had it. You know, luckily I have an app on my phone that lets me track my car. It worked. LaQuasia and a group of friends loaded up in two cars and went to find it. But what happened next took them all by surprise. Um, just some kids. They stole my car and took it on a joyride. I I actually found them, me and my friend found them using the UVO app. And once we found them, they ran from us, took us on a high speed chase. She did contact police, but felt like they were not reacting fast enough. So as a group, they all decided to take matters into their own hands. A decision she doesn't regret, but won't recommend to others. I wouldn't advise anyone to first of all, steal a car because you know, it's not right. And second of all, I wouldn't advise anyone to go on a high speed chase chasing your car either. In Tallahassee, Angela Green, ABC 27. LaQuasia and her friends all work together at a local car de dealership and she credits her job training having to learn how to use that out app called Uvo that helped her track down her vehicle. Tallahassee police have not commented on this case and there's no word if anyone was arrested yet.